guys today I'll be doing a tutorial so let's get straight into it okay so first off you have the wilderness where you can fight with other players around Aurora next up we have the thieving area where you can thieve and sell all the items to this NPC right here then we have the altar of the occult where you can change your spell books to normal ancient and lunar Next up we have a bank right here and altar to restore your prayer uh, The health restore you can restore your health of course and the MC to train through crafting this, will, this MC will teleport you to the altar Next up we have the slayer master and he will give you all the slayer tasks and you can reset tasks here block tasks and here we have the Mac, the MC. This MC will give you Max Cave when you Max out. No, also some other caves like the Music Cave. Also, we have the Sir Loyalty MC. You will gain loyalty points by being active and playing the game. You can buy some stuff from him. Next up, we have the General Store, where you can buy some stuff from the NPCs here. Malay store, magic store, brain store, or scaling supplies, herbs, hunting, fishing, and also the free to play store. Uh, you can buy rune stuff for, for example, the uh, free to play events hosted by the event managers. Here we have a shopkeeper to like sell all your junk items. Next up, we have the Iron Man store where you can buy stuff like for, uh, as to start off as an Iron Man or Ultimate Iron Man, Hard Crime Man, Elite Iron Man, or Classic Player. Here we have the Makeover Mage to change your appearance. Next up, we have the Teleport Wizard. You will teleport you around the Laura. Some examples the City's Teleports, uh, Monster Teleports, Bosses, Scaling, Dungeons, Minigames, PvP, and the Donator Zone. First, start off with the Rock Crabs. Start off training here to gain some combat levels. Also, already some players here training. Let's teleport home. Next up, we have the trading post. Here you can trade around Alora, buying and selling stuff. Here, for example, how to sell it you click this, sell an item, and confirm. Here's the recent trades on Alora. So on. Okay, and you also have some game modes on Alora like Iron Man Classic and uh, Iron Man. Yeah, that's the same as on uh, RuneScape, the regular one. We have Ultimate Iron Man where you can't use the banks. Same as Iron Man, but yeah, you can't use the bank. And hardcore Iron Man is the same also, but you can die or you'll lose your hardcore status. Next up, we have a new mode called Elite Iron Man. That's the lowest experience four times, and uh, you can duo with a partner, which you can trade off. And uh, same as the Iron Man, only you can trade with your partner. The classic mode is a unique mode, which is similar to Iron Man, but you're able to trade with all the classic mode players. Experience rate is also quite challenging five times, but that means you can trade only with classic players. Also, the trading post, but not with uh, all the other players around. We also have some other NPCs like here, the achievements manager, which you can can reach achievements, all all the the entire list. You can buy items here with the points. You also have the prohiba, where you can prohibita, where you can uh, insure your pets and reclaim them when you die with it. Here we have the vote manager, where you can claim votes and uh, see the rewards. Here's Bob Barter where you can decant the potions and here's Hans, Hans, Hans where you can see your age for playtime. Also here in the graveyard we have an NPC called the Lost Item Manager and when you die your untradables will spawn here. We also have an NPC right here where you can 
uh, decant all your potions and uh, clean all your herbs and make all your infi unfinished potions. You have to be a donator to use this one. Here we have another MC to change uh, your Samarkand spear into a, a Hasta. Nahasta. And here we also have some quests. Quest, uh, where you can start off quests like Dragon Slayer 2. You can start off here by Glenn, talk to Glenn. Yeah, and uh, here we have a Slayer Master for the wilderness. So, yeah, northwest of Edgeville, there's an NPC called the Wise Old Man. Here you can buy all your skill capes when reaching level 99. Here, west of shops. You can uh, buy a house here and you can enter your own house, building mode and friend's house. Here, altar. Here's a altar that's owned by the staff and you can always use your altars on this gilded altar. It's pretty easy so I recommend you try this out. Inside the edge bank we also have a donation manager. Where you can visit the store or by typing store in the chat box. You can also claim your donations here. And uh, yeah, here, change skin color, go to the donator zone, visit the store and collect the items. Here we also have a vote booth where you can claim and view the vote reward. Here's the trading post and here's the closed chest which you can open with a crystal key. My recent video is that I'm opening 500 crystal keys, you can check that out in the description. Here we have an NPC where you can enable your 2FA to secure your account. So we don't have the bank pin but 2FA. And with this no one can get in your account. And if you ever need to reset it, you, you just need to type in what I type in right now and go to 2FA section so you can reset it and staff will help you further with that. We also have an NPC here called Combat Master. Here you can lock your combat experience, but not your skills, only combat and also reset experience. We also have a comments list. You type it in the chat here below. Or you type it like this. We have travel. Speak to the teleport wizard in Edgefield to get around. Kill count. Donator zone. It's easy comment. The m amount of players. It's not really accurate. You can type staff to show which staff are online. We have check risk. Like in Wildy, you can check your risk. Clear friend list so you can play your entire friend list. Boss KC, you can also watch it here. And here's the monster drop table where you can type something in. It will show all the drops. Here the server time, uptime, players, bonus skill where you can get bonus experience each day it will change. Here's your player stati stat <laughs> statistics. The wilderness kills that PK points and just uh, regular points. Moving on to the comments list, um, watch Battle Royale when an event manager like F8 is doing a Battle Royale. You can watch it with this comment. You clear patches, clear all the farming patches. Event is uh, will teleport you to the event area where some troll parties being held and also some uh, bosses spawn it's a hell is <laughs> um, you also have gamble where you can gamble with other players Let's see with uh, this out you can check speak to the vote manager at home it will say in the chat Warrior's Guild, you will spawn your teleport to the Warrior Guild to get the Dragon Defender. Lava will teleport you to the uh, to the Lava Dragons. Train will 
teleport you to the rock crabs, thief will teleport you to thief, hillies to the uh, to the hill giants in the wildy, and graves to the wildy too, and fix banks to uh, drop all the bank tabs and it will only be in one tab. Max it is shown in the chat. Join battle royale, same as watch battle royale, but then join it. Empty is empty your inventory. Skull is to skull yourself. Shake, comment that means uh, shaking when you're at the rage pulse, the final wave. It will shake the screen, but with this you can disable it. Yell to talk over all over the Laura, but you need to be donated to use the Yell channel. Also, there's some comments to change password and report the bugs like bugs, support, report, etc. You can also click the report game bug or abuse. We also here have the settings page where you can zoom in. It will mess it up a bit with, with control scroll. You can change it. When clicking scroll you can do this. Also you can full screen it, advanced options to transparent chat box, side panels, remaining XP here and in here. Also transparent inventory, roof removal and toggle data orbs. Also sound um, yeah private friends and chat settings also uh, F key setup you can do this it's pretty nice and also the right click when you're low level or something this um, the HD mode will make it look a bit nicer there Also have a mode to change hit points, etc. Now I'll be showing you around the donator zone. So you type donator zone DZ. You will teleport here. You can walk you to the bank. Fire, it's permanent. And uh, here's the recharge. It will recharge your special attack, uh, prayer, and health. Also another health store. Here you can smelt and uh, smith. And here in the back you can fish mantas and uh, turtles. Moving further, here you can chop magic trees. Behind there you can catch great chins. Also there in the back, kind of forgot. There's a, another hunting area where you can hit on red chins. Moving forward to the back, coming to the let's see the mahogany trees where you can what you can use for construction. Also the mining area, some teak trees. Moving forward to the you have to be donator, so ten dollar donation you can be here. Also the super donator zone you have to pay fifty dollars come here you can thief here it's a level 99 stall it will sell see the NPCs right here this will sell for 11 and a half K okay moving up to the gem mine you can be as a super donator mining these rocks down below you need to be extreme donator for this so that's $250 as a even bigger gem mine yeah and here's the bank deposit so you can put it all in there make it easier okay so moving up to the second donator zone so there was the old donator zone before the actual one got updated and added to the game so you spawn here right on the sides and um, smitting and smelting okay, and here you can catch great chins can uh, chop these trees and here are magic trees there on this side small mining area and a red chinchampas in the back also some chinchampas here 
And then the spot that's most used for this donator zone, that's the mantas and the turtles fishing spot. The bank's pretty close here, this NPC. And uh, Uh, let's see, that's about it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I will be doing a money making guide soon. So after this one's being uploaded, maybe like a week later, the money making guide will be up. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, see you soon.